Psalm 53. For the conductor on the mashalas, a maskil by David. The degraded one says in his heart, There is no God. They have acted corruptly and despicably with iniquity. There is no doer of good. From heaven God gazed down upon mankind to see if there exists a reflective person who seeks out God. Everyone is dross. Together they have become depraved. There is no doer of good. There is not even one. They do not realize. Those evil doers who devour my people as they would devour bread, who do not call upon God, that there they will be stricken with terror, a terror such as never was. For God scatters the bones of those encamped against you. You shame them, for God has rejected them. Oh, that out of Zion would come Israel's salvations, when God restores the captivity of His people. Jacob will exult. Israel will be glad. Psalm 54 For the conductor with the Neginos, a maskil by David. When the Ziphites came and said to Saul, Is not David in hiding among us? O God, by your name save me, and by your might vindicate me. O God, hear my prayer. Give ear to the utterances of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and oppressors have sought my soul. They have not set God before themselves. Selah. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with the supporters of my soul. May he repay the evil to my watchful enemies, and in your truth cut them down. With a free will offering I will sacrifice to you. I will thank your name, Hashem, for it is good. For from every distress he has rescued me, and upon my foes my eye has looked. Psalm 55 for the conductor with the Neginos, a maskil by David. Listen, O God, to my prayer. Do not disregard my pleas. Pay heed to me and answer me. I lament as I speak and I moan because of the shout of the foe and on account of the oppression of the wicked. For they accuse me of evil and hate me with passion. My heart shudders within me and the terrors of death have befallen me. Fear and trembling penetrate me and I am overcome with horror. Then I said, Oh, that I had a wing like the dove. I would fly off and find rest. Behold, I would wander afar. I would dwell in the wilderness. Selah. I would speedily obtain deliverance for myself from violent wind, from tempest. Consume, O oh Lord, and confuse their tongue. For I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they encircle it upon its walls. Iniquity and mischief are within it. Treachery is within it. Never leaving its square are fraud and deception. For it is not my foe who reviles me. That I could endure. It is not my enemy who has magnified himself against me. That I could hide from him. But it is you, a man of my measure, my guide, and my intimate friend. Together we would take sweet counsel. In the house of God we would walk in company. May he incite death against them. May they descend to the grave alive, for evil is in their dwelling, within them. As for me, I shall call unto God, and Hashem will save me. Evening, morning, and noon, I supplicate and moan, and he has heard my voice. He redeemed my soul in peace from battles against me, for with many they were against me. May God hear and humble them, he who is enthroned from days of old, Selah. Those in whom there is no charge, and they fear not God. He stretched out his hands against those who were at peace with him. He profaned his covenant. Smooth were the buttery words of his mouth, but his heart was at war. His words were softer than oil, yet they were curses. Cast upon Hashem your burden, and he will sustain you. He will never allow the faltering of the righteous. And you, O oh God... You will lower them into the well of destruction. Men of bloodshed and deceit shall not live out half their days. But as for me, I will trust in you. Psalm 56 For the Conductor Regarding the Distant Dove of Silence By David, a Mishnah, When the Philistines seized him in Gath Show me favor, O God, for men yearn to swallow me. All the day, warlike, they oppress me. Each day my watchful foes yearn to swallow me, for many battle me, O Most High. On the day that I fear, 
I trust in you. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have trusted. I shall not fear. What can mortal flesh do to me? All the day they make my words sorrowful. About me, all their thoughts are for evil. They assemble. They lie in ambush. They watch my every step as they anticipate my life. Despite iniquity, escape has been theirs. Cast the peoples down in anger, O God. You yourself have counted my wanderings. Place my tears in your flask. Are they not in your record? Then my foes will retreat on the day I cry out. This I know, that God is with me. In God, I will praise the word. In Hashem, I will praise the word. In God I have trusted. I shall not fear. What can man do to me? Upon me, O God, are my vows unto you. I shall render thanksgiving offerings to you, for you rescued my soul from death, even my feet from stumbling, to walk before God in the light of life. Psalm 57 For the conductor, a plea to be spared from destruction by David, a mishtam, when he fled from Saul in the cave. Favor me, O God, favor me, for in you has my soul taken refuge. And in the shelter of your wings, I shall take refuge until devastation shall pass. I will call upon God, most high, to the God who fulfills for me. He will dispatch from heaven and save me from the disgrace of the one who yearns to swallow me, Selah. God will dispatch his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions. I lie with men who are aflame, people whose teeth are spears and arrows and whose tongue is a sharp sword. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. They prepared a snare for my footsteps. He bent my soul. They dug a pit before me. They fell into it. Selah. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and I will make music. Awake, my soul, awake, O psalter and harp. I shall awaken the dawn. I will thank you among the peoples, O Lord. I will sing to you among the regimes. For great until the very heavens is your kindness, and until the upper heights is your truth. Be exalted above heaven, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. Psalm 58 For the conductor, a plea to be spared from destruction by David, a mishtam. Is there indeed silence when you should be speaking righteousness, when you should be judging people with fairness? Even in your heart, you do wrongs. You weigh out the violence of your hands in the land. The wicked are estranged from the womb. The speakers of falsehood went astray from birth. They have venom like the venom of a snake, like a deaf viper that closes its ear, so as not to hearken to the voice of charmers of the most skillful caster of spells. O oh God, smash their teeth in their mouth. Shatter the molars of the young lions, O oh Hashem. May they melt like water that flows away when each one draws his arrows. May they be as if crumbled to pieces, like the snail that melts and slithers away, like a stillbirth or a mole who did not see the sun. Before your tender briars develop into hardened thorns with vigor as if with wrath, he will storm at them. The righteous one will rejoice when he sees vengeance. He shall bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked one. And mankind shall say, there is indeed fruit for the righteous. There is indeed a God who judges in the land.